Hey everyone, this is Josh from Fresh Start Customs coming to you today with a video on how to turn a solid black and white image into a cut path versus an engraved path. Um, so this works for PNGs or JPEG files um, that's not a vector file. Um, so I had a, somebody request that I do this to help them out. Um, so I'm going to get this one out as quickly as possible to help that person out and then possibly more. If it helps you guys, let me know. Um, before we get started, if you have not already set up your Illustrator interface, kind of like I have with the grids and uh, 12 by 20 uh, artboard, and then all of your color swatches over here, check out um, Chris Mastiff or freaking laser designs video on how to set up illustrator for glowforge um, I'm not going to create a third video of that um, I find that a little bit redundant since they have two really good videos on it so definitely set that up I would recommend it um, you don't have to um, but let's get back to this let's go ahead and get started here so when you have the black and white image here all you got to do is click image trace or if you don't have image trace here um, go to view and then or go to window and then click image trace um, But as you notice if you don't have the image selected, it's not going to show up there So make sure you have it selected click image trace and Then you notice that image trace now turns into expand. We're going to click expand Now you see all these dots everywhere um, This is basically making that path and making these separate items so if you double click in here as you can see um, you can actually select each white section and that's what we're gonna have to delete here so usually when you have one white section selected like this you can go to head and click on select go down to same and then go to fill and stroke and now you notice all the white sections are selected and all you have to do is hit delete on your keyboard and that deletes the white section out of there as you can see you can see all the grids um, behind it now and then now what we're gonna do is pretty simple here you just select the black section and as you can see your fill is black right now we're gonna change that to none and then your stroke which is gonna be your cut path we can change it to any color you want um, I always select red for my cuts um, and then blue as my secondary cuts but whatever colors work for you go for that um, so now I selected red now when I click off of it you can see got a nice cut path for the laser to follow so this would if we would be doing this out of wood all we would be left with is a wooden um, dollar sign or acrylic like if you wanted to make a green money sign here um, you just do green acrylic and then there you go so that's how you guys do it um, all you have to do afterwards is make sure you go to file save as and then change it to an SVG file and you can name it uh, whatever you want and then you just hit save and then make sure you have these um, options selected here this always works best that way your image doesn't shift um, in this case it wouldn't really matter since it's just a cut file but I would recommend just saving this and getting used to using these settings and then you just click OK um, but I'm not going to use this uh, this was just for an example um, so I'm going to hit cancel there so I hope this helped you guys out um, that's basically how you turn um, a PNG or a, a actual graphic like a JPEG graphic into a cut path for you for solid black and white images and we'll see you guys next time